The civil society situation room has called on security agencies to refrain from intimidation and excessive use of force while on election duty in a dual state. The group addressed concerns of professionalism and INEX readiness for the polls during its maiden briefing in Benin City. Residents of ASAN, Edo Central Sanitary District, and Auchi have expressed their readiness to cast their votes as well for the sixth governor of the state. Despite economic challenges, voters are enthusiastic about exercising their franchise. We have more in this package. Civil society says the success of the election depends largely on the conduct of police officers. This is because they are the lead agency in providing security as registered voters in Edo State go to the polls. They intend to deploy 4,000 observers to the 18 local government areas to, amongst other responsibilities, monitor the performance of the police. The presence of security forces must not be seen as intimidating to voters. Excessive display of force can suppress voter turnout and contribute to an atmosphere of fear. Consistency in deployment. In the past elections, we observed that security deployment has been an event with more officers concentrated in urban areas, leaving rural communities under scale. Deployment must be evenly spread across both urban and rural areas to prevent isolated disruptions. Also under scrutiny would be the electoral umpire's use of the bimodal voter accreditation system and how they respond to the weather conditions. The bimodal voter accreditation system, IVAS, is expected to function optimally based on the report from mock tests. And it must ensure that the trained personnel are readily available to handle technical issues swiftly, ensuring that voters are not disenfranchised due to faulty equipment. We expect that the Commission has communicated this plan to the voting community and relevant stakeholders and ensure mitigation mechanisms are put in place to address adverse effects of flooding during the election. The civil society situation room also warns political parties against engaging in vote buying, but they didn't stop there. The residents, the voters themselves, also have a role to play, and that's to refrain from selling their votes. Uche Okoro, TVC News, Benin City. The district is a crucial battleground with two leading candidates coming from the area. I'm not ready to vote. See my card. I will vote for who I like tomorrow. <laughs> Love it. Egwemade's eagerness to vote resonates with many in the three ASAN local government areas. No violence. What if it anti our mandate tomorrow? We are prepared to vote. Well, I will say when you want changes, you go to vote. When you want a betterment of those state, you go and vote. By special grace of God, I'm going to vote. Because I'm a citizen of this country. I can't deny my right. I will go and cast my vote to whom I like. I will vote because of upcoming uh, governor. So that we are looking for the betterment of everybody of this country. Voters in Ekoma, Essan West Local Government, Irua in Essan Central, and Uromi in Essan Northeast share their expectations from the eventual winner. So we need the right person to be there. So when the person gets there, please, you should help us. All this is very cost. It's effort to, to bring it down. That's what I want. It of is dear, please. We want education, free education. Or they reduce the price of education. So nobody can eat, eat a three square meal a day. This is the nation where we have oil. About that, our oil is a river that is a sea that it can never dry. If, the, if uh, we vote for a good governor, they say, uh, uh, free education, well, everybody will be happy. At the INEC office in Urumi, security operatives and ad hoc staff make last minute preparations for deployment to various wards and units. As the Independent Electoral Commission deploys human and material resources for the conduct of Saturday's election, the people of ASAN have expressed readiness to cast their votes for the candidates of their choice. Ikenna Amechi. CVC News, Urumi.
Edo State. Since the Independent National Electoral Commission declared campaigns open for the off-cycle election some months ago, the stakes have been high, not just in urban centers, but in rural communities. With a voting population of more than 500,000, Edo North Centurial District is considered a swing region with the potential to influence the outcome of the governorship election on Saturday. <laughs> Topping the expectations from the new governor is better road network, economic empowerment and access to quality education. The choice for the next governor of the state is for that uh, governor, the incoming governor, to embark on, uh, on the rapid development. In our local government, we are having this issue of roads and erosion problem. And again, our schools, our schools are, in, uh, a, 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 are dilapidated. Security, your top priority. That's just it. If people are secured, they will go to farm. There will be produce, farm produce. People will be uh, able to feed comfortably. Even the, the, uh, the less privileged, they will be able to take care of their children. Most of us depend on the farm. That's exactly what I want. I will still plead with the security personnel to be on ground fully, each of the units, in order to you know, subside any conflict that we want to arise. The Circle West local government in the Edo North Senatorial District is one of the local governments identified as flashpoints for this election. We spoke with some residents of Aochi and they are pessimistic about elections on Saturday. It, are you going to be voting on Saturday's election? No. You don't have confidence in any of the candidates? It's not as if I don't have confidence in any of the candidates, no. But the problem there is, this is how we confided in many of them, back then whom later feed us. To douse the political tension in Asako West, the police is deploying about a thousand officers coupled with sister agencies to 322 polling units across the local government. Sarah Ayuku, TVC News, Asako West.